doing the first part, you influence your cost. And you always have to think about the result of what you do in terms of, of costs. And it starts not after you have finished your design and uh, you go to the purchasing. So wheelbase, the distance from front to the rear needs to be 1.5 meters approximately. So that's the first thing you need to define. For the driving behavior, what does that mean uh, for the dynamic behavior of the car? Is always think about before uh, you are doing something, what is the result? Um, I know sometimes the result is difficult to judge, but very often you can judge it, you can calculate a few things. Must go. Must go. The motion must be. Why is that? Because uh, by choosing these points, you influence the instance if I choose um, a pull rod layout, will I have the damper inclination like this? Or should I put the damper on the bottom to reduce the center of drive or even higher? So for example, on Formula One cars, the natural frequency goes up to eight or 10 because of the connected to the chassis. Because the chassis mass itself, um, the unsprung mass is coming, it means the front of the car is doing something different to the rear. And around this axle, you have another with the equation mentioned, you calculate a few points in the diagram, and then you say, okay, Get your bump damping from the base valve and your rebound damping from the ま、あの、スペンションのまあ、アームだとか、え、サスペンションの具体的な形式であるとか、えっと、ま、ショックの選定であるとか、そういったところを担当しています。そうですね。ま、ジョメトリとかすごいあの、ロール選択とか、ま、体験版とか